Welcome back everybody. Now you've heard of the Calavir swap, you've heard of the Cobalt swap, but have you ever heard of the Dodge Caravan swap? Here are my seats on the interior. They are broken, nasty. I'm sure I've lost lumbar support. They suck. Check these out. Picked them up today. They are out of a Dodge Caravan at the second row. And look how they fold. They fold collapsed. Black leather, red stitching, and armrest. That's fucking awesome. And pulling these seats out are actually really simple. You have four bolts, that right there. You have one, two, three, and four back on that corner. These are 15 millimeter, and then on the back you have a star bit. I side comparison. This one, obviously, these hand rest fold up, which I'll probably have them up most of the time. I mean, it just looks so much better. They both measure 21 inches as well, so that's nice. I'm no engineer, but I knew I do know a few things. I like using common sense, right? So from what we can tell, it looks like this particular bracket is held on by three rivets on each side. And just like the Durango, I mean the Caravan, the Dodge seat, also has three anchor points. So I'm assuming that it must be like a uh, safety thing. So we're gonna follow that just in case. On the Dodge seat, these brackets from bolt to bolt measure nine and a half. And at the end bracket, um, as far as the length goes, 14 inches. That's actually not bad. On this end though, the center to center is roughly 13 and a half. The length of these brackets, I guess, we'll call it from here to here. We'll just call it 15, 15 to make it simple. Is this one's the same? Yeah, roughly the same. Um, and the exterior, 15 as well. So we're gonna start by removing these rivets off these brackets. The best way to remove these little rivets is use a cutoff wheel or a grinder. Whatever you can get to is fine. So these two, no big deal. This one is gonna be a little hard to do. So we're gonna try to come at it from an angle. And if that doesn't work, we'll probably end up drilling it out. I just gotta see. Curious, I used a uh, 530 seconds to go pilot halfway, quarter inch, a nice one, and then I went 25 64. The other one, just turn it really through. got the brackets bolted back in where they go and we're doing this just for uh just to make sure our uh math is right you know measure twice cut once kind of shit um so we are going to cut them at 15 inches so we picked up two uh pieces of flat bar from homeless depot 48 we're going to cut them in 15 inch sections so Cut. 
Okay, so according to the other seat, the way the bolts line up this direction, at the beginning of the bracket, I'm using basing my measurement off this. I hope that's okay. Um, because we actually really don't have another way to do this, I guess. Uh, the first one at the center of the bolt is three quarters of an inch. So this one will be pushed all the way to the front right here. The second one is at 10 and a quarter. And we have a hole right here. And that one will be basically centered like that. Okay. Maybe a little, maybe a little bit offset. I gotta do measurements off camera. And then the third one, it's, I believe it was 13, 13 and a half. So, we will probably end up using this back one to just completely uh, try to put a very, on a very far corner. So, let me get some camera, let me get some uh, measurements off camera, and I'll show you what I did. Alright, so here's what we ended up doing. We drilled this one on center and we drilled both of these two about half an inch on center towards the end. And on this side, you can kind of just see how we did it. What I'm hoping with this, and with all the measurements I took, is that when we put the front seat, we can shift it back a little bit and it'll line up with this one. This one will be fine. We might run into a problem with this one. We just gotta see. So everything's gonna be bolted on. We'll take it off and we'll fit it to the seat. Made a mistake, my bad. Uh, so here I got it laid out again. This one stayed the same, drilled on center. This one, we ended up doing again and drilled this one on center. And this one, we drilled half an inch off the center of the bolt uh, towards the end. And this will give us plenty of space to you know, use the uh, factory door, I guess, slide bolt, if you want to call them that, to mount this on. So all we're gonna do now is just center this and drill out the holes. Wow. Here she is, all set up. Actually, I haven't even tested it. Ugh. Can't do this one-handed. But you get the gist. Looks awesome. Yep. Well, I sat in it. It's a little too close for me. Uh, unfortunately so i'm gonna see what i can do to modify it to make it go further back for us larger gentlemen you guys should take a second here to appreciate how awesome youtube is because only this was transition was probably a second for you it was literally overnight and me thinking about it <laughs> so i believe we have addressed the issue of the seat being too uh forward for the larger fellas I did involve drilling a couple holes, I'll admit that. So basically, uh, and you'll see this in the picture. This bolt, I mean this hole and this hole used to be on these two brackets. Basically this, I'm sorry, yeah, this bracket here was on this hole mounted on this bolt. So we shifted, basically shifted the bracket forward uh, secondly we used the existing hole that was here we had to bust out the welder and we had to tack it to this frame no big deal and secured it that way and then here we had to drill an additional hole here because it didn't line up with the way we had it set up but I was able to use my existing hole here and these I believe let's see yeah this one was the offset one so this one you have another hole sitting right here which might be ended up not too well if you crash but this is why you watch this first so you learn and hopefully if you do the swap it's not too horrible but now we have a better range of motion try to do this one-handed and this is uh this is basically the seat was all scooted all the way back now i did learn something pretty interesting from this while i have you these bolts right here, take them off, are kind of like a lock. I'll leave them like that. And you have these tabs under here. I'll show you this one. This tab right here stops it. So if you're really short and you need a better seat in an S10 and you need to get real close, this allows you to go further. Ah, hold on. 
All right, you're on the tripod now. So basically, this seat allows you to go way back here if you really wanted to. You know, it even gives you, uh, yeah, it doesn't give you any more real distance. It just gives you a lot more distance backwards. Now, now my smarter viewers, you're probably gonna say, is it possible to just flip this bracket around? And yes, it is. I actually thought about that. But the, my problem was, you have um, one, two, looks like just three, three rivets holding it onto place. Uh, but actually they're bolted from the underneath. So you could theoretically get under this foam, unbolt them. But my, the, the problems I didn't like or didn't want to deal with is one, you kind of have to not really damage, it's a pain in the ass to push this down and to try to get under there for all three, or basically six. And even when you did that, you still have to figure out a way how to reverse this piece here um, for the whole, you know, locking in place kind of thing. You know what I mean? So that's why I chose not to do it. But we're gonna cinch everything back and put it in the truck. Gentlemen, this thing is looking awesome. Almost even matches. Well, not really. <laughs> but yo, that looks good. Now, I know, I know some of you are wondering, and I'm hoping for it, but if we uh, get a different steering wheel, we might be able to pull this one off. So when you pull the lever. Oh, I did go through. Oh shit, never mind. <laughs> hey, that's something you don't see every day. Nice. Hell yeah, so this is really a cool option because when you go to a car show, you always see the seats are like tilted forward. This way, you're able to see what you got in the back, which we will be building a subwoofer system back here, so that's gonna be freaking awesome. Nice. So if you're still interested in, in the more or recent orientation without cutting so many holes, um, this plate, these were drilled on center and then drilled to match on this far corner right here. This one was also drilled on center for these, but these were offset, so one went high and one went low. All these are quarter inch holes, obviously, to minimize the slop. Uh, it's not attached right now. But I figured there might be some uh, questions or concerns or thoughts on how this one, these went in. So basically, take a, a fishing stream and I'll tie a loop, one that's kind of really matter I guess as long as it's out of the way okay and then I take a, a bolt with a washer on it because this hole is slightly large and these are quarter inch uh, bolts by the way I'm sure you can okay. so after you tied your bolt I like to clip off the excess because sometimes it gets in the way of you trying to pull it out like that all right, we're on our fishing stream. Hopefully you can see this. Like that, run it through. Okay, so before we go further, if, when you, if you're messing with this, you'll see that there's a spot in this bracket that's, uh, you have more room in certain places. So this looks right, there's more room there. So you can always adjust it. Drop that sucker in. Tightening and untightening it, and you have to take these brackets off for whatever reason. It just makes life easier on you. 